Nigerians can mobilize and get their representatives to impeach an ineffective governor. Loretta Onochie claims. Aid to President Mohamed Buhari on social media. Loretta Onochie has told Nigerians to hold their governors responsible for anything they encounter in their states. According to Loretta Onochi, if the people feel that things are not working as planned in their various states, they must endeavor to hold their state governors responsible. Loretta also reminded the Nigerians that governors are the ones in charge of government and the people should hold them to be alive to their responsibilities. Loretta made this known in her latest statement shortly after the kidnap of schoolgirls in Zamfara State. According to Loretta, Nigerians can mobilize themselves and get their representatives and the state assembly to impeach an ineffective governor. Loretta Onochi advised Nigerians to start practicing true democracy, which created room for the impeachment of an un underperforming governor or government official. Shortly after Loretta made the comment, some Nigerians attacked her in the comment section of her official Twitter account. According to some of the Nigerians who commented, does the impeachment call placed by Loretta Onochi also apply to the president of Nigeria, who has for far failed to safeguard the lives of Nigerians against frequent attack by kidnappers? In response to the questions asked by Nigerians, Loretta Onochi said that President Bori is not to blame for the high rate of kidnapping in Nigeria. She said that even if Nigerians impeach President Bori and let underperforming governors to remain in power at the state level, the high level of insecurity will most likely remain with Nigeria. Thank you for listening to this news. I knew where the hearts of Nigerians would go the moment Loretta Onoche landed. Because what she is saying mm -hmm. now affects her P master, Mommy Bori. You are conclusing over other people's affairs, but you don't want them to conclude over the affairs of President Mobari. See who is talking about impeachment. See who is saying that the people should lament mm -hmm. for impeachment. See who is talking. She has forgotten the many times that President Mobari has failed Nigerians. And they call for his impeachment, but because of the people in that house of rep are people like him. They refuse to, to fasten the impeachment. Look at America. Look at America. Just one week, they announced the impeachment of, of Donald Trump. The upper week, he was impeached. That is a state with law and, and a state that keeps to the law. Nigeria is a country with a law, but like a country with no law. Americans said it now. The ones that came to observe Uzodima's uh, uh, hearing, that gave Uzodima the, 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 the victory of, of becoming governor of Imo State. <laughs> oh. See, tell ourselves the truth. Loretta Onoche is very biased. Very, very biased. Look at who is talking. You've not looked at your own, the, the, the issue in your own office. You are looking at the issue in other people's office. You are talking about the governor. Your president is also. Uh, 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 it's also 
adding to the problems of the governors because of his too many interference. Don't you know that because of your governor, because of your president, that is why many governors you see are doing all the wrong things that they are doing, e.g. Uzodima. Just today, Uzodima denied clearly that he wasn't the one that ordered the military to Imo. But then he went on to reveal the person. And who could that be? President Mubarak. So you can see the interference I'm talking about. So your president happens to be the cause of the unrest that has been going on in, this, in Imo State over months now. Do you know the people that have died in Imo State, in Anambra, in Abia, Abba? Do you know? My madam, please, I've always known you to be someone that is too biased and, and too partisan. And for the position you are handling in the government, in the government house, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it in any way. Do you understand? So, if you want to speak concerning those that need to be called to order, call Mr. President. Call Mr. President. Okay? Because that is where the problem, the genesis of the problem is coming from. <laughs> Look who is advising someone. See who is advising someone. First, advise yourself first. Before you start advising someone, because there's a lot of lapses in your, in your, in your, in your office. Lots of them. You've not been able to okay them, take care of them. You're taking care of other people's matter. Look at Shei Makinde. Today, Shei Makinde is walking like someone with no head because he wants to please President Mobari. He don't want to do anything that will make him challenge him. It is only Ruti Miyakeudulu that stood on his ground and said, No way. Who are you to decide for me? Are you the one governing the states? See what this one we get told Buari now. He said, look, the same way you were elected as a president is the same way I was elected as a governor. The same way, it's just that your own position is higher than my position, but we both were elected. <laughs> Buari is punknosing over state matters and it is not his responsibility. So the earlier he take his nose and his eyes and his mouth away from state matters, the better. The better. So I will advise that Loretta Noche should begin his advice with his president before coming down to the state level. What do you think that I've said? <laughs> wow. My viewers, what's your take? Leave me free to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.